Hi, boys and girls. We're going to have a little go of a game called Captain Says. Okay, I might have changed it a little bit just to make it a bit phonicky. Okay, one of the parents gave me this idea, actually. So my little girl's going to have a go at playing it. So I hope you like playing it too. Captain Says, climb the rigging, climb the rigging. Can you find that? Mm. Climb the rigging. Climb, climb, climb. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Well done. Shark attack. Okay. Clean the deck. Clean the deck. Scrub the deck even. Scrub the deck. Scrub the deck. Oh, very good. Fantastic. Captain's coming. Captain's coming. Captain's coming. Good, well done. Let's see if we can find, Captain says find, uh, 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 the one that comes at the end of a two-syllable word, uh, brilliant. Let's find ow, find ow. Can you find ow? Yes, well done, there's ow. Okay, hit the deck, hit the deck, hit the deck. <laughs> Very good, lie flat. Hit the deck. Well done. Excellent. Okay. Find the sound. Or. Or. Can you find or? Or. Or. Let me show the children. Or. Oh, that one's broken, isn't it? Or. Well done. Find A. Captain says find A. Can you find A? There it is. Well done. Brilliant. Hit the deck. Hit the deck. Oh, no. She's hit the deck. You can hit the deck. <laughs> That's when Captain comes, you say aye aye, isn't it? Hit the deck. Hit the deck. Good girl. Well done. Can you find E? Can you see E? Can you see E? Yay! There we go, boys and girls. E, E. Can you find the sound uh, uh, that comes in the middle of a word? Uh, uh. Can you find er uh, that comes in the middle of a word? Well done. Er, uh, like in burn or hurt. Well burn. done. Can you find th like in the? Can you find th like in the? There's O. Where's th? There it is. Well done. Can you find oi? Like if you're saying oi, 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 oi. There it is. Brilliant. Well done. <gasps> Captain's coming. Captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. <gasps> Climb the rigging. Climb the rigging. Climb the rigging. Well done. Excellent. Hit the deck. Lie down. Very good. Can you find qua, 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 like for quack. Qua for quack. Yay! Well done! And scrub the deck. Scrub the deck. Very good. Are you puffed out? <laughs> well done. This is our new tricky word. So the first thing we're going to do is put the sound buttons on to help us read it. Ah, oh, ow, ow. Hmm, that's not a word. Which bit is tricking us? Oh, the first letter, the letter A. Do you know why? It's not making an A sound. It's actually making an O sound. O, O. Let's try saying it now with that O sound. O, O, O. O. You are all so clever. So don't let this one trick you because it doesn't say ow, it says all. And remember, this is the bit that is tricking you. It doesn't say ah, it says all. Hi boys and girls. It's that time of year again when I need to cut the grass. So I've got my grass here. And if I cut my grass, I wonder what word we've got underneath. Are you ready to help me? Oh, it's our new tricky word, all. Did all of you get it right? Okay, I'm going to cut the grass. See who knows what this one says. It's was. 
does, I always say. Was, was? That doesn't make sense. It says was. Oh, okay. Let's try another one here. Oh. It says he. He is so clever. Okay, what about this one here? Cut the grass, cut the grass, cut the grass. My, all my friends. Okay, what about this one? Ready to cut the grass, cut the grass, cut the grass. It says me. Okay, let's try the next one. I do like cutting the grass. It's our tricky word, ah. It's got our ah digraph, but it's also got an e on the end, hasn't it? Okay, let's have a cut of this one. Cut the grass, cut the grass, cut the grass. It says B. Oh, not many left. Not much more grass to cut. Okay, let me cut this one. Oh, it's got an E in it. She. It's the tricky word, she. She is so clever. Okay, let me cut the grass here. As soon as you recognise it, you have to shout it out. It says we, we are so clever. The last one. I wonder which tricky word this is going to be. It's you. Well done. Great job. These three letters make the sound ear. 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 I hear with my ear. I hear with my ear. What can you hear when you hear with your ear? What can you hear? I can hear a knocking sound. What can you hear with your ear? I'm going to paint the letters in the trigraph ear. So the first letter is E. So that's across, up and all the way around. The next letter is the letter A. So that's curly caterpillar around and down with a little flick. And the last letter is R. So we go down and back up the same line and over the rainbow, here. Hello everybody, Nut Brown Hair and me are here to talk to you about our new sound today. It's actually a trigraph. How many letters do you think there are in a trigraph? There's three letters in a trigraph, so it's really hard. But we are giving you a clue because Nut Brown Hair has fabulous long ears. And I am wearing some ears. Does that give you a clue about our sound? The sound, the trigraph we are doing today is the sound Ear. So I'm going to say it first and then you say it. Ear. 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 Well done. Are you ready to spot it? Let's see if we can find it now. Right, let's see if we can see the ear trigraph anywhere. Oh, look on nut brown hair. I can see it there. Ear. Ear. My turn. Ear. Now your turn. Well done. Can we spot it anywhere else? Shout if you spot it. Can you spot it? Oh, well done. There it is on Kip of the Kangaroo. Good night, mate. There it is. Ear. My turn. Ear. Your turn. Brilliant. Fantastic. Can we see it anywhere else? Oh, oh, there. Think it's just hiding. Wow. Well done. Ear. My turn. Ear, your turn. Fantastic. Ooh, I've got some different ones on now. Can you see? Got my little cat ears. I had one more ear trigraph and I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I've looked everywhere and I don't know what. Hold on a minute. There it is. Did you spot it? It's on my ear, isn't it? Ear, my turn. Ear, your turn. Well done. Good job, everybody. So the trigraph ear is three letters. Ear, 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 ear. Now the word ear 
it's a word in its own right, isn't it? Because we all have ears and this is how we write the word ear. But it's also a sound because if you put letters in front of the ear, it can make new words. So if I put a... Uh, at the beginning, it says ear, hear. I hear with my ear. If I put a d, -d, 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 -d at the beginning there, d, ear, dear. You write a letter to somebody, you say, dear friend. If I put a f at the beginning, f, ear, fear. You might have a fear of something. Okay, and if I put a y at the beginning here, y, ear, year, like Chinese New Year. So even though the word ear is a word, it's also a sound, a trigraph. When you put letters in front of it, it makes the ear sound. Ear, near. Ah, <laughs> far. Uh, Okay, let's look at this piece of paper. A, P, ear, appear. I'm going to write a card to my friends, my friends, my children, friends in reception. So when I write a card to somebody at the top, I say who it's to, I write dear. So I'm going to write dear, da, 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 da. Dear. We've got some words to read with the ear trigraph in. Let's read the first one. Ear. Yay, well done. Now, there is a letter in front of the ear trigraph. F, ear, f, ear, fear. Oh, he's a bit scared. Okay, now there's a letter in front of the trigraph here. It's a t, t, ear. Tear. Oh, he's got a tear coming out of his eye. He must be sad. Okay, there is a letter at the beginning and at the end of the trigraph. B, ear, d. B, ear, d. Beard. Yay, well done. Let's have a go at writing a word with the ear trigraph. That little boy looks a bit scared. He has a fear of something. So we're going to write the word fear. F, ear, f, ear. It's only two sounds, isn't it? But remember, the ear sound has got three letters. F, ear, e, a, r. Ear, f, ear, fear. I only needed two boxes in my phoneme frame because even though there's three letters, they only make one sound. Let's have a go at writing the word near. Near. When you are close to somebody, you're right next to them, you are near them. Okay, let's say the sounds in near. N, ear. N, ear. There's only two sounds, but remember, the second sound, the ear, is a trigraph. It's three letters. So let's write the word near. N, ear, ear. E, A, R. Ear, N, ear, near. 
We only needed to use two of our boxes in our phoneme frame because even though there's three letters in the ear trigraph, they only make one sound. So we're going to write a sentence. Who do you think we're going to write a sentence about? Who's this guy? It's Batman! Oh, I love Batman. Okay, so what we're going to write, we're going to write, never fear when Batman is near. So shall we say that in a in a really loud voice? Never fear when Batman is near. Shall we say it in a scared voice? Never fear when Batman is near. Shall we say it in a brave voice? Never fear when Batman is near. Brilliant. Let's count the words. Never fear when Batman is near. Seven words. Because I'm counting bat and man as two words. So there's seven words. The first word, can you remember it? It's never. Let's clap never. Never. That's two syllables. I can hear the er uh sound at the end. So I know it's going to be the er if it's the end of a two syllable word. So nev. The first syllable is nev. So I'm going to capital letter at the beginning. N e v. Nev. Er. Uh. The second syllable is er, uh, and I know it's the er. Never. I'm going to leave a finger space. Never. Fear. Ear, ear. It's our ear trigraph, isn't it? Ear. Never fear. I always go back to the beginning to remind myself what I'm writing. Never fear when, when. Now it's that wh, wh, wh sound, isn't it? The WH that makes a wh, wh, wh sound. Wh, eh, n, when. Never fear when, when who? Batman, Batman. So I'm going to do bat first. I'm going to do a capital letter because we use capital letters for people's names. So I'm going to do a capital B. There's my finger space. I remembered. B, A, T, bat. Can I fit man on there? No. So shall I write it up here? No, silly Mrs. PT. No, I go on to the next line, don't I? Never fear when bat Man, I'm going to do a capital M for man as well. M -a -n, man. Never fear when Batman. I'm going to leave a finger space. My next word is is. 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 I'm running out of room a little bit, aren't I? Never fear when Batman is. What's my last word? Near. N ear. N ear. It's our ear trigraph. So I'm going to leave a finger space. There's my finger space. Mm, ear. Oh, I just fit it on, oh, didn't I? A little bit squished there. I'm sure you won't squash yours up. And at the end, I must put a full stop. A little full stop, not a big football. Okay, you ready to read it with me? Because we always read our writing back to ourselves to make sure it makes sense. Are you ready? Never fear when Batman is near. Full stop.